Hi guys, we are hands again because today we are decluttering some more lip products. We're tackling the high-end lipsticks. These are like prestige brands to luxe brands or more luxury brands rather. And yeah, we're just gonna declutter them, swatch them, see which ones we wanna keep, which ones we wanna let go of. If that interests you, just go ahead and keep watching. Without further ado, let's dive into some lipsticks. All right, we got the declutter basket ready to go. Let's get started here. First thing I see just that I have a lot of is KVD Beauty. I've got a lot of the Study Kiss lipsticks and their her liquid lipsticks, or their liquid lipsticks rather. So we're gonna go through these and see which ones can be decluttered. I have decluttered some of these over the years. I did have a lot of them, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna swatch these and see which ones I wanna hang on to. So let's just go ahead and get started with the liquid lipsticks. We got Vampira, which is just a really pretty dark blood shade. I keep that one just because this is, I think, the first one I've bought from her, or brought from KVD, and I don't know. There's something about this shade I like, even though I don't think this is a great formula. You know what, no. I'm gonna let this go because the formula kind of sucks on this this particular shade anyways. It just, it, I've never found it to look good on the lips in this deeper vampy shade. Like, it goes on kind of patchy and weird and it's quite old, so. It's just, it was never a favorite shade, but this is Vampira. It's gonna go. I got Sanctuary, which I love Sanctuary. This one's gonna stay. And it's a bit of a lighter shade and I find it to perform way better and look really pretty on the lips and just be all around a better formula over Vampire, Vampira. Even though Vampire looks really pretty in swatch on the lips, it just, it's weird. It just doesn't look good. All right, we got, who's this, Bachelorette. I think I'm gonna let Bachelorette go. It's just not a shade that I reach for. Kind of a hot pink, not for me. Warm hot pink. We got Damned. Damned is kind of the same as Vampira. It's just not a great formula. Looks kind of patchy on the lips. Not, not a fan. And then I've got Ludwig. I do like Ludwig, it's a nice, you know, peachy kind of nude shade, kind of a nothing color. I like that one, I'm gonna keep it. And I love uh, Outlaw, which is the beautiful bright red. It's a fantastic red, so I'm definitely gonna keep Outlaw. Yeah, I never thought I'd like part with all these, but uh, here I am. And then as far as lipsticks go, I don't know why this one's so dirty looking, because it's white. But anyway, something spilt, so I need to wipe this down. But anyways, this was a limited edition KVD Study Lipstick in Gold Blooded. It is a gorgeous red with gold glitters in it. I love it. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's fun. So I'm keeping this one. Uh, I think this came in like a gift set or something. I really like it. I like the gold glitter in it. I think it's pretty and it's just a, a cool shade. And then I have Archangel, which is a beautiful brick red. Love Archangel. Very, very pretty color. I don't know if it's still available or any of these are still available or not, but yeah, Just keeping Archangel. We got Ophelia, which is a really pretty, just soft, kind of nude shade. And we got Pilaf, which is a pretty dark, cool, uh, a little bit metallic or is metallic super dark, almost blackened brown shade with a purple shift in it. It's really pretty, it's a very cool shade. So yeah, I'm keeping that one. And peel off, I think, I don't know if it's, it's not peel off, peel off, PF? I never know how to say that, I wanna say, I keep saying peel off, like peel off rice. I know that's not right, it's peel off. It's her cat, it was Kat Von D's cat. <sighs> and Ophelia, we're keeping. All right, then we got I can't read, the font is so little. Noble, this is Noble. Noble's a pretty, just soft peach. I like Noble, I'm keeping Noble. <laughs> Had that one a while, but I still like it. And these all smell good, they haven't gone off yet, so they're gonna stay. We got Bachelor Bachelorette in a lipstick. Bachelor, I guess, was popular. I'm just, I don't like, I don't know. I tried to use that shade, it just never worked for me. I'm, I don't like hot pink. I hate hot pink, I'm gonna be honest with you. 
And we got Sanctuary in the lipstick bullet formula. I really like it in both formulas, so keeping that. We got Crucifix. I love Crucifix. This shade is very pretty. Just very gorgeous, kind of chocolatey, reddish brown shade. Very 90s. Uh, we got Lovecraft, another favorite shade. Which, if I can still find this in a full size, I do want to get it because it's kind of that perfect pink that I really, really like. And I'm a huge fan of HP Lovecraft. And then we've got Sexer, which is, uh, yay. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think I, I don't need that. I really don't need that. I'm hung on to that so long. I don't know why. I don't, I don't need that shade in my life. And then let's see, we got Homegirl. Homegirl, I think was a bit of a disappointing shade to me. It just didn't perform well. It was a bit patchy on me. So Homegirl's gonna go, but it, it's pretty color. It just, it didn't wear well. Bauhaus, I like Bauhaus. I know it's kind of a bit of a hot pink, but there's something about this one that I kind of like. So I'm gonna keep that one. It's got a bit of like a blue shift in there, like a slight sheen to it. And I'm also a fan of the band Bauhaus. So we got Hawkwind. Hawkwind is really pretty. I like Hawkwind a lot. Just a nice brown. So Hawkwind stays. We got Wolf's Mouth. Oh, I love Wolf's Mouth. This color is so pretty. And it's a bit of a purpley tone, but it's a purple that I kind of dig. I like it. There's something a little bit different about it. So. This one stays, and it also, it has a bit of a sheen in it. Like, they're not fully metallic, but there's a bit of a sheen to them, which makes them kind of unique. And we've got Bow and Arrow Classic. It's pretty kind of muted peach type shade, kind of smoky. And then lastly, I have, gosh, I cannot read this tiny font, Neon. Neon? Neon? I don't know. It's a metallic black with glitter, holographic glitter within. Mm, I'm gonna keep that one because that might be fun for a cyberpunk look. <laughs> so, okay. All right, let's finish up the high-end prestige lipsticks now. Uh, I'm gonna start kind of <laughs> just going down the row. These are ones that I just have like one of. So we will start here. This is a Jouer lip gloss. Very pretty shade. It's a deep berry kind of a glossy liquid lipstick, but not like a matte liquid lipstick, you know? It's the glossies kind, and it's pretty. I will do like that one. So I'm gonna hang on to this one, because that's a pretty color, and uh, it's nice to have at least something from Jouer. It's like the only thing I have from them. This is in the shade Bond. This is a high pigment lip gloss. Then from Lancome, I love this lip gloss. It looks worse for wear. It's getting a little separate -y. Man, this is a good gloss. I think if I just stir it up, it'd be right. Yeah. It still smells fine. It smells like it did when I got it. But this is a uh, mirrored nude. This is one of their, uh, I can't remember what they're called. Beautiful glosses, though. Man, they were so pretty. This is one of the first lip glosses that I was like, oh, hell yeah, over. It's gorgeous. Uh, they're kind of metallic, but more just kind of juicy looking. Very pretty. So I'm gonna keep that one and try to pan it because it's, it's such a pretty color. I love it. Next I have this gorgeous metallic-y, kind of metallic red from Smashbox. This I've hardly used. So, so pretty, right? Look at this color. I love the applicator on it. It's a really neat applicator. I've always enjoyed like the applicator of the Smashbox lipsticks. I had one a liquid lipstick from them a long time ago and I really liked the applicator that it had. But yeah, this is just a really, really pretty, perfect Christmas lipstick. So that's gonna stay. This is an older one from Sephora. I think this is called something Cranberry. Crimson Luster, Cranberry Luster. It's really pretty. It's got kind of almost a little bit of a blue shift in it, but it's very subtle. It's kind of a matte. Yeah, it's, it's a really pretty red and I've had this for a while, but I really do like that color. It's a nice, just pretty red and I need to use it more. <laughs> then of course we have the Vive Modern Matte Lipstick in Power Suit. This isn't going anywhere. Ugh, look, I mean, 
it's a bit cold in here, so that's why things aren't swatching super great, like my regular lipsticks, because it's, it's, it's cold. But <laughs> that's such a pretty color. I love it. That's, that's a favorite lipstick, and I want more of the Vive lipsticks. Next, I have a Laura Mercier. I think these are called like Love Affair. Velour Lovers Lip Color. This is in An Affair. This is a really pretty berry. Like, I don't like berry very often, but this is a berry that I like. So, yeah, it's just a really nice packaging and everything, too. I want to keep that one. I've got 1995 Comfort Matte from Urban Decay. This is a favorite, obviously. Pretty well loved. Well, I got a good bit left, but I've, I've made a little dent in it. It's well loved. And uh, here's a look at that. Beautiful cool just neutral brown almost cool very 90s very nice so yeah I was surprised it's the only lippy I have from Urban Decay I guess swore I had more I guess I don't <laughs> then we got from Too Faced here this is a melted matte in Queen Bee this smells like it's going off and it is gotten a bit dry I think it's a pretty color yeah it just smells bad so I'm gonna go ahead and let this go but I love that color. That was one of my favorite ones from this. I thought it's an odd shade to be called Queen Bee. But yeah. And I think the Too Faced Melted Matte formula is actually pretty nice. Uh, Ciate London. Liquid Velvet. I remember quite liking this lipstick. I like the applicator too. I remember liking that. Kind of a similar shade to Queen Bee. A little bit more brown. It smells alright. So yeah. That'll stay. It's a pretty color. This is a Bare Minerals lip gloss here. One that, I think it's a Gen Nude lip gloss or something like that. Mineralist lip gloss. Lip gloss slash balm. So this is meant to like nourish your lips and have some good skin lip care in it while being a gloss. And this is in the shade Zen. I thought this was a really, just a pretty nice color. It feels really nice on the lips. I'm applying it right now. It's a really pretty color, so I'm going to keep that. I enjoy it. This, okay, so that is all the one-offs. And put these away. Next up, we have some Tarte lipsticks. First is one of these, Rainforest by the Sea or whatever. And Rum Punch. It's just, I don't know what these were called. I can't remember. But I think it was something of the sea, whatever. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> but I do like this shade. This is Rum Punch. Very pretty little nude shade. Smells fine, it hasn't gone off, so yeah, we'll keep it. That's a really pretty nude, or just soft, uh, kind of nothing color. So I'm gonna keep that one. This is new, this is from Melt Cosmetics. This is in the shade Frisky, and this is an ultra matte lipstick. I like the formula of this quite a bit. And it's a pretty, kind of orangey nude shade, peach, you know, color I like. So I'm gonna keep that. Uh, yeah, it, it's a mini. I have a lot of minis, you'll notice. I don't go through lipsticks very often, and it's a better value to me to buy the minis and get the variety over buying full-size lipsticks because they are going to go bad on me, and I'm going to end up having to throw them away. So I would rather have small deluxe size samples and minis like the Pat McGrath ones rather than buying full-size, and if, something, if it's something I really love, I'll buy the full-size. I got two of these. These are the... Tarte Tartist lip paints in birthday suit. This is like the I don't know which one of these was opened, <laughs> so I'm just gonna go, go right in. This was one of the birthday gifts a couple of years ago, but I really like this <laughs> color. It's so so pretty, and my friend gave me hers too because she didn't like it, and she's got she's a bit deeper than me, so it just didn't work on her. But on my ghostly skin, that's a perfect shade. So I got two of these because I loved it so much and have I used it very often? No. But I'm gonna keep it because I like it. And then I got two more which actually came from her as well. I think she let me borrow these and just never got them back. Chandra, I still have your TARDIS lip paints. Uh, this is the shade I don't remember because it's not written on here. Yeah, they didn't put the shades on these. But yeah, these are very matte in comparison to these. This formula was totally different. And she picked these up thinking it was the same formula. But these are very, very matte and a bit dry. 
But yeah, we got a dark purple there. I mean, they're not awful. They're just very, very matte. And then we got this mauve shade. I'm gonna go ahead and put these to the side to give back to Chandra because they belong to her, even though they're pretty shades. I, I don't use them anyway, and they're hers. So I set those to the side. Now I've got three from Glips. This is a Colombian brand that is a lovely makeup brand. And I don't really know if they're prestige or high end or kind of drugstore price point because it's they're Colombian and I don't know Colombian money very well. I don't know the uh, Colombian peso and the value of anything. I I have family there, but I don't know anything about like their economy or uh, brand tiers of makeup or anything like that. So I mean, I can see the amount of pesos and it's a lot, but I have no idea what that translates to. So anyways, so this is from a brand called Glips. I think it's kind of a boutique-ish brand. Um, they're very, very nice people though. I've actually um, been reposted by them a few times. But this is the shade, this is their uh, matte lipsticks. This is Boho Chic. And these are just really, God, they smell so good. They have the best scent. Just beautiful, beautiful shades and really, really nice all around formula. I really like this brand and want more from them. So either I'm gonna have to go to Columbia because I don't think they ship to the US. <laughs> uh, everything on their websites, nothing's in English or anything like that. So I need to either get my brother to send me some stuff from them or my sister-in-law or go down there because <laughs> I really enjoy these lipsticks. They are that good. Uh, I also have the shade Bordeaux. No, it's Bordellos. Bordios. Bordios. I don't know. I don't speak Spanish, but this is a pretty deep cranberry type shade. Ugh, so pretty. Or deep wine. And then we have Cupcake, which is a gorgeous kind of mauve shade. Like these colors are just dead on, like perfect shades for me. They're beautiful. Again, the scent that they're fragranced with and kind of flavor, I guess, is like a vanilla yet floral at the same time, but it's very subtle. It's such a pretty, pretty fragrance. I really enjoy those. I think I like these more stick type lipsticks anyways. That's just a format I enjoy, especially like for like a matte one. All right, Marc Jacobs. I've got two things from Marc Jacobs here that I've, no, I have three. Where, where is, here it is. Three Marc Jacobs. Slow Burn, which is a favorite. It's a beautiful, beautiful lipstick shade. I feel like mine was going bad or something. No, no it looks great. It smells good. Just, it's just a really pretty kind of cool tone, yet neutral pink. I love this shade. I wish I had bought a full size of it before Marc Jacobs kind of disappeared and was on clearance. I should have bought a full size of Slow Burn. And then I have uh, Uh Huh Honey in the Enamored Lip gloss balm whatever this was called I really like this as well this is truly a balm and a stick or a gloss and a stick like look how glossy that is with the stick it's really cool very very cool concept and it looks like a gloss though <laughs> like like when it's like this but yeah I just thought these were really neat so I'm gonna keep this one because I do love that color I had this also in a, a fuchsia and I declared that one last year maybe the year before and then this is a Marc Jacobs lipstick in Burn Notice, but a uh, Limark Liquid Lip Crayon. These are really neat and they are twist up. But yeah, they're just so, so soft and emollient and have a very liquid feel to it, but they're in a stick. Kind of similar to that. This is, it's like, you know, a product then a different format than what it normally is in. But yeah, it looks like a liquid lipstick, but it's in the stick. And I really like this brick shade. It has a slight uh, sheen to it almost, like a little bit of a kiss of metallic. Very nice, I do love that color so right there. All right, two Jane Iredells that I have here. This is Joanna. Joanna! <laughs> I think of Rescuers Down Under every time I hear Joanna. And yeah, beautiful, nice soft berry shade. It's like one of the few berries that I enjoy, so I'm gonna keep that one. And then I have Molly, which is a really pretty nudie shade. Ah, so pretty. I wonder if my friend Molly would like that though. I don't know if that color would suit her. I feel like she needs more cool tones. That would be a bit warm for her. 
All right, and we've got two Makeup Forevers here. This is a little guy. This is one of their Artist Rouge Creams. Cremes. Oh, pretty, pretty color. I forgot I had this. I love that color. I need to pull that out. So yeah, that's really nice for keeping that one. This is just a little Makeup Forever lip gloss and a kind of just peachy, nothing shade. Not bad, nothing to write home about, but a nice gloss. So we'll hang on to that. And two from Buxom. I've got Dolly and White Russian, two of the classics. Love them both. Uh, do I even need to swatch these? They're pretty <laughs> well known. Oh, I had that one screwed on really tight. But, you know, pretty, uh, pretty standard. Make sure it smells right. <laughs> yeah, it still does. And then White Russian, of course. We all have White Russian, I think. Yeah, I think it probably these probably came in a gift set, and that's why I have them. Just nice standard uh, lip gloss there, kind of plumping. And then two from MAC, I have Viva Glam 2. Quite well loved. And yeah, use this a lot. Oh, it's starting to smell like it's going off. Yeah, it's starting to get that clay smell to it. But I'm going to keep this for just the nostalgia of it and not use it and put it on the shelf because it is just a classic MAC. It, this was one of my first high-end lipsticks I ever got, if that lets you know how old it is. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's the first thing I ever bought at MAC. It's, just, it's kind of special for some reason. It's starting to get that Play-Doh smell, but I'm keeping it for nostalgia purposes not to use. So it's going to go on my kind of nostalgia collection shelf. And then we have Nose for Style. This was my wedding day lipstick. And if it's gone off, it's gonna just go on the shelf as well because it's, again, nostalgic. Oh yeah, it's definitely gone off. <laughs> it's got that smell. But man, that was a pretty color, wasn't it? Just a really nice kind of cranberry red. But, oh, that's definitely turned on me. I mean, this is, I think, six, yeah, six, seven years old, six years old for sure in my collection and, uh, yeah, I bought this to wear on my wedding day. So, it, I I mean, six years and those lipsticks have just now, I think, turned. They had a good run. All right. Here is two from Fenty. Uh, these are like what the Matte Moselle lipsticks. And I have Griselda. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pass that along. I don't need that shade. Just not that into it. And then I got... I freaking read you know I can't read that oh my gosh why is that so tiny well whatever this shade is that shade's pretty I'm gonna keep that shade I just I feel like I've got a lot of that color so I'm gonna go ahead and let that one go all right NARS two from NARS here this is well I actually got way more than two from NARS I like NARS lip products so we got American Woman in the Power Matte Pigments. I love this formula, and I do want to get the full size of this. It's been on my list forever. It's just one of those ones, things that I just forget to purchase, and there's a ton left in here, and it's still good. So yeah, I love that color. This is American Woman. Then we got, this is new. I just picked this up. This is Ingrid, and this is one of their Audacious lipsticks. I was, this was a really pretty color. <laughs> Uh, something about that. It has a bit of a mutedness to it where it's not quite as vibrant as that Fenty. Uh, I just thought it was really pretty, so yeah, I wanted that. And it was, I picked it up at Burke's Outlet, which is kind of like a TJ Maxx type of store. They had a ton of Mac stuff, so yeah, I was, or a ton of uh, NARS, so I was happy to find that there. And we got Cruella in the matte crayon. I've got a hair out of here hair but yeah gorilla is just a really pretty red what was this one called Rakugin? 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 Jean? I don't know what this color is called jeez I cannot I cannot read it's something German it's just a pretty kind of this is more of a satin finish and then we got bondage love bondage that one's my favorite one of my favorites <laughs> see I like how NARS has like tongue-in-cheek names but they're not tacky somehow I don't know 
I think they can pull it off where Too Faced comes off dirty and just kind of gross. <laughs> and this is Do Me Baby. Okay, that one's a little cringe. But man, that's a gorgeous shade right there. Ugh. I usually would buy the sets of these when they would come out at Christmas time. Then we got Spike. I remember I like Spike quite a bit. It's a really nice wine shade. Then we got Chaos. Again, another really dark vampy color. You know, to not wear that color very often, I sure have a lot of it. And then we have Vicious. Ugh, Vicious is pretty. I was just sitting like, ugh, like I don't like it. I like Vicious, that's nice. So, okay, so that's NARS. I'm keeping all the NARS. I like NARS. Shut up. <laughs> Next we have Stila. Got a good little portion of Stila. I feel like Stila's gonna go out of business soon. Is that just me? I feel like they're gonna go the way of Becca. But we have got Patina, a classic. Patina is just a beautiful, beautiful mauve lipstick. My favorite type of shade, or one of my favorite types of shades is Patina. I know it's a bit dated now. That was more like that kind of Kylie Jenner lip color for a while in like what, 2014-ish. But I still think it's a beautiful color. So I'm keeping that one. Then we got Bassy, Bassy. Bassy. It's more of a smoky kind of muted lavender type shade. I like that. I'm gonna keep that one. We got Beso, which is a favorite. Oh, I love Beso so much, but it is gone off. <laughs> I need to get a backup of this one because this is probably my favorite red. It is way more vibrant when it's fresh than this. It is one of the best reds. All right, and we got, this is Sheer Morello. I don't know about that. Sheer. Huh. I'm gonna let that go. And then we got Fiery. Fiery is just a really nice red. Here it is next to Beso. I feel like that one should be called Fiery and this one should be Beso. But that's just me. And then my absolute favorite from Stila, which is Rico. This color is, I think, my favorite kind of like wine berry shade. There's just something about that one that, oh, it just really works for me. <laughs> so there's that. All right, now we got Bite Beauty. <laughs> All right, from Bite, look what we got here. Chai. Chai, I think I do quite like. Yeah, I like chai. Still smells good. All right, we're good to go. Uh, we got Brioche, which is, I think this is like a multi-stick from them that you could use on like cheeks and wherever you want. It's a bit dry feeling. I think it's just cold, but yeah, that's pretty. I like that kind of color. That kind of shade. And then we have got Honeycomb. Oh, I used to love Honeycomb so much. Oh yeah, I still love Honeycomb. It still smells good, so keeping. And we got Glossé. Or glass. I think it's Glossé. I don't know. Really pretty. Pretty, pretty color. And this is a... Alright, then we got these. These are the Amuse Bouche Lip Gloss lips, Liquid Lipsticks. And I've gotten the shade Demi Glossé, which I really, really like this one. It's one of my favorites. So pretty. Oh, and these smell so good and have such a lovely like texture and flavor. We got Eclair. It's funny how many repeating names of products there are. Like product names. <laughs> and uh, what do we got here? It's the red one. Flambe. There's Flambe. Yeah, that's a, that's a great red. So I'm going to keep those because I like them. And I miss one of these. is in my purse from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, Walking of Shame is in my purse currently, but this is Legendary Queen. Again, a really pretty red. So yeah, that's a kind of a sophisticated red is what I would call that one. And then we got Pillow Talk. Just regular old Pillow Talk. What happened here? 
Oh, it must have got squished in the cap. Well, anyway, there's Pillow Talk. You know, just your classic, good shade. And then I have this YSL in 307. This is the Slim Velvet Radical in Fiery Spice. This is a beautiful, beautiful red lipstick. And so here we go. Yep, I love that one too. And of course, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> I'm probably just keep that because it's a YSL. <laughs> I don't care if it goes off. It's going to stay. And I keep it in the box because I never can remember the name of it. What's, like, not the shade, but the, uh... Oh, okay, it's written on the butt. Alright, cool. I can get rid of the box. And let me wipe my arm off, and then we're going to go through my Pat McGrath. <laughs> that's as clean as that hand's getting. <laughs> that's hard. Did not want to come off, and I think I'm a little stained. All right, so let's go through these Pat McGrath ones real quick. I'll tell you right now, I'll probably not get rid of any. But I love the little boxes that Tatcha Skincare comes in. They're so good for organizing. <laughs> All right, here's the Opal Lust lip glosses. These are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I believe these are still on sale. So here is that one, which is called Dreamscape. I love that. I love how they're like dual chrome. Oh, they're so good. Then we got Naked Rose. This one is so pretty. The formula on these is really nice as well. Yeah. So good. And then Lavendering. Very pretty. Very pretty shades. And they are very shifty as well. Which I think on camera they probably look totally different than what they look like in person. But they have they're really pretty like topper shades. They look they kind of transform lipsticks. Very cool products. All right, and here is my little lipsticks. Let's see what we got here. I do have some repeat shades in here. So, all right, first up we have got 1995. Love this one. This is a great lipstick. So, 1995, just a really pretty, pretty shade. We got Omi. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Fell out. Get back in there. Okay. I think it's okay. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> Anyways, Omi, named after Naomi Campbell, which I think is kind of cool. Pretty similar to 1995, to be honest with you. Like, I have a hard time telling those two apart. But they're both pretty, so I'm not mad at, you know, I like them both. I think Omi has just a little bit more depth to it. And then we have Flesh 3, which is a favorite. I love Flesh 3. This one reminds me a good bit of uh, Passion from Milani's Matte Fetish. Very pretty. I like those shades, but yeah, you can see a little bit more depth. And then this one's a little bit more brown, but they're very similar. Uh, next is Christy, which I don't think I have used. Yeah, I've got two Christies. Okay, yeah, this is the one I've used. This one has not been used or swatched, or has it been swatched? I can't tell. Whatever. It probably has been swatched, honestly. Alright, so I got two Christies, so one of them I'm just going to put to the side here and swatch this one. This is the one I've been using. And there is Christy. Again, not a huge difference within shades. That's my only kind of complaint with Pat McGrath. The shades are kind of kind of similar across the board. And then we got Fever Dream, which is very vibrant and beautiful. Exactly what you to picture a shade called Fever Dream to look like. I do quite enjoy that one. Then we have got Beautiful Stranger. little bit a little bit pinker and like a warm pink versus more cool to neutral shades here but still not a huge difference there's a lot of subtle nuance within these shades but they're pretty similar and then I have another flesh three okay so that is my Pat McGrath I'm gonna keep those because I do enjoy them and I'm not mad about having a backup of uh, Christy and Flesh 3, because I really enjoy Flesh 3. That one's probably a favorite, so yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna put all this stuff away, then I'll show you how everything looks all organized and looking nice. And here is how the drawer is looking. I think it came out pretty good. Yeah, very nice. This is all my lipstick drugstore and high end. In one drawer, after the declutter up here behind me when I'm filming, I also have these, this little container, which I do wanna get like a second container like this. So I have somewhere to put some more of the prettier components, which is what I have out. And then I have like crayons, lip crayons in Lincoln over here. Abraham, that's his name, Abraham. Does he get a big fold of skull? Um, yeah, so there we go. Okay, pretty legit progress. If you enjoyed hanging out with me, hanging out with me today, if you enjoyed hanging out, jeez Louise, if you enjoyed hanging out with me today and watching me declutter, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment down below, let me know some of your favorite high-end lipstick formulas, luxury, prestige, whatever you want to call it, and let me know if there's any that you think I need to try. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay spooky. Bye now.